Hey guys, John here, and in this video, I'm going to cover a way to add a Shopify brand's logo slider. A lot of sites these days feature a slider with logos of the brands they sell or work with. Uh, there are a number of benefits to this, including trust building and visual appeal, to name just a couple. And I'm going to show you a way to put one of these sliders on your site. Now, this will require dealing with code a bit, but not a whole lot, mostly copy and paste. And I'll leave the code for all of it in a description for you. Now, if you'd rather not deal with code at all, get in touch with me and I'll install everything for you for a small fee. And I'll make it a pro version. I'll add more design settings and customization to the slider so that you can customize it to your liking right from your theme editor. It'll look something like this where you can change the slider background color. And let's look at it on the actual site. Like that. Uh, let's change it back to a color that's a bit easier on the eyes. Let's change it to this. That's better. We can also change the height of the slider. It's now at 200 px. We can make it whichever height we want, but just for illustration, I'm going to make it 500. Let's come look at it here. Now you can see that it's bigger. We can change the size of the image. This, of course, is going to depend on the, on the size of the images that you're going to upload to this. But once again, just for illustration, the images are bigger. I'm going to change this back to 150 because it just looks better. Oh, didn't want to do that. We can change the gap between the images. Right now it's at 20 px, but we can make it whichever size we want. As you can see, it's, there's more space between them. We can change the speed of the slider. Now, the lower, the faster. So the lower this number, the faster the slider will run. So let's click on here, click Save. And let's come here and refresh. And as you can see, it's going faster. We can change it and make it higher. You can go all the way up to 50. And you'll see that it's considerably slower now. Refresh. Now it's much sl uh, slower. Keep in mind, though, that if you set the speed to zero, then the slider will stop. The animation will stop. And I'll show you. Come back here. Hit refresh. And you can see the slider is no longer moving. Okay. So let's come back here, put this back to 30. And I'm going to change this back to 200. I think it looks better. That's it. And then next, we can make it so that the slider pauses when you hover over it. And I'll show you. If you check this box, hit Save, and then come back here and refresh, You'll see that the slider is not is now moving, but if I hover over it, it stops. This can add some visual appeal. And lastly, we can make the slider run in reverse. And I'll show you. If you check this button down here where it says run animation in reverse and hit save. And come back to the site, refresh. And you now see the slider running in the opposite direction. There's one more feature that's available in the pro version, but not in the basic. And that is the ability to add multiple sliders on the same page. And I'll go over this in just a little bit. Now, those who are comfortable dealing with code should have no problem adding customization to the code that I'm providing for the basic version. And the slider in the basic version will look something like this. 
All right, so let's get started with the code. First, head on over to your Shopify dashboard and click Online Store. Click on the three dots next to the theme you'd like to add the slider to. I'm going to add it to the live demo theme here. And then click Edit Code. The slider is going to be a section, so we want to come down here to the Sections folder, click to expand it, and click Add a new section. Give your section a name. I'll call it Brands Logo Slider. This will be a liquid file, so make sure liquid is checked up here. It'll say liquid to the side here. If, it's, if JSON is checked, then it'll say JSON instead. We want liquid. Click Done. We want to start with a blank file, so we'll get rid of all of this. Let's get the code that needs to go in here. Click the link in the description below the video. The link will say something along the lines of Brands Logo Slider. Once you click it, you'll be taken to this page right here. And I'll bring it over from my other screen right here. This is the page, and this is the code you'll need for this section. So all you have to do is click the Copy button. Don't need this anymore. Come back here and paste everything in here. Hit Save. All this is is the CSS and HTML for the slider with some JavaScript to help run it. Let's exit out of this and then click Customize so that we can add the newly created slider section. Let's click Add Section to add the slider to the page template. Search for the section name. In my case, it's Brands Logo Slider. We can see that the section comes up. Let's click on it. And let's add our first logo by clicking Add Logo. Then we'll need to click on Select Image and select whichever logo we want. And done. Let's add our second logo. Same thing, select image, select the second logo, hit done. Let's hit save and preview what we got so far. And there's our slider with the two logos that we added. Now, the slider will always cover the entire width of the page, even if the number of images is less than what is needed to cover the whole width. The images will just keep repeating until the entire width is covered. Now we can add some more. Hit save. And then come here to check it, refresh. And as you can see, we now have the rest of the logos on there. Now, something to keep in mind is that this slider right here can only be added once to any particular page, and I'll show you. If we come here to try to add another slider section, we search for it. We see that it comes up, but it's grayed out with a uh, one of one showing next to it, meaning that the one such section that can be added to the page is already on there and can't be added again. The Pro version, however, can handle multiple sliders on the same page if needed. And I'll go ahead and add one more. I'll just add a couple of sli uh, logos to this one. Save. And as you can see, it is down here. It needs a little bit of customization. The speed is at zero. We'll change it to, we'll make it a little faster. We can change the size of it, make it 150, and then make the images 100, and maybe make it run in the opposite direction. 
and we can come look at it and refresh and there it is and we can change it a bit we're going to remove the pause on hover and the reverse hit save and we can also it can also be placed anywhere on the page or you can move it around a little bit i'll just move it a little here i'll just put it above the the uh, featured products and now it's up there and we can hit save and we can come here and look at it on the site and as you can see the previous slider it's still here going in that direction and this is the newer slider that we just changed and it's going in the other direction and it's not pausing on hover and that's it. That covers how to create a Shopify brand's logo slider. I hope you found the video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.